What's going on, Fader Culture? My name is Adrian Barone, and today we got a step-by-step -step ball fade tutorial. I hope you all enjoy, and let's jump right into it. Like all tutorials, I always comb the hair in its neutral position according to the cowlick area, as you can see right here. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button or the thumbs up button, please go ahead and do so as it does help out the algorithm. Please and thank you so much, guys. So now, number five. and recomb the hair and go over it two or three times. And all the tools and the steps to this tutorial will be in the description down below in case you want to follow along that way. With no guard, lever completely closed, we're gonna come in and set in our first guideline. Always addressing the temple peak area from there is where we're gonna set in our first guideline. Make sure that you do end up on that same temple peak area on the opposite side. As you can see, I'm on that same temple peak area on both sides. If you're very new to cutting hair, I suggest that you start on one side and then come to the other side and then just connect them in the back instead of going all around like I did. So from here, still no guard. We're gonna open up the lever completely and we're gonna come up about a finger's width. Now we got the number one guard and the lever is going to stay open. Again, coming up about a finger's width, just go ahead and repeat that process. Now we got the one and a half guard. Again, lever is going to stay open. You're going to notice that the lever stays open as we're cleaning up the canvas and setting in our guidelines. That's not going to change. The only thing that changes is the guards. So if you don't have this half or one and a half guard, they are linked in the description down below. I highly suggest you get them. And I don't want to bore y'all, so I'm just going to go two, three, and then finally the number four guard. Just repeat that process. You are going to see though that I'm exaggerating that flick out motion and I'm going to come straight up and out from the parietal ridge area. So as I mentioned earlier, I thought I was gonna need the number four, but as you can see, if you're easy with the wrist, that three blends right into the top, which is the number five. So from now, we should have this initial guideline that we did with the lever closed, and the second one that we did with the lever open. We're gonna begin with that one and work our way down. And for that one, we're gonna use the half guard and putting that into a three fourths position, which is basically somewhere between halfway and fully open. So you're just gonna wanna open it all the way and close it slightly. As you can see, it is removing that second line, but it is creating a faint line right above it. But do not take this step any higher as we will come back right now with our one guard and remove that. So now we got the one guard and we're gonna leave the lever in that 3 fourths position and we're gonna attack the line that the half guard created. Notice how I am using mainly the corners of the clipper. That's just gonna help me get into these little darker areas without taking the fade up any higher than I need to. All right, for the last line, it is gonna take a three-step process, starting with the lever closed, then we're gonna open it halfway, and then it's gonna be completely open. And for this last step, I do like to work in sections, so I'm only gonna focus on the left side of his head. Again, starting with the lever completely closed. 
but as you can see, I'm using mainly the corners of the clipper and I'm taking that up about a quarter inch. So now lever halfway. And finally, fully open. Again, using mainly just the corners of the clipper. As you can see, the fade is done, or at least almost done. We just need this bottom part. So go ahead and repeat that three-step process, focusing just on the back side, and then continue and finish off with the right side. All right, so now that we're done with the fade completely, we're gonna come in with our trimmer in a forward position to get that much closer to the scalp, and I'll show you exactly why right now. Just make sure that your trimmers are zero gap properly. If not, at this point, you'll be scratching your client. So from here, go ahead and turn your trimmer around and remove that faint line that that created. Take all this off, right? Yeah. Or you want to line it up? <laughs> <laughs> so as I begin to remove this bottom hair, you're gonna notice a faint line. And that faint line was created because of the trimmer in a forward position. And that faint line we're gonna use as a guideline for our electric shaver. Now with our electric shaver, again, we're gonna come up to that faint line. Now using a little bit of hair spritz, which is basically a hairspray, we're gonna comb the edge up down, cover his eyes, give it a few pumps, comb it in, and let that dry. This is just gonna freeze all the fringe area forward. While that dries, we're gonna go ahead and clean up his eyebrows.
All right, for the final step. God, you're in my commercial. Fix your hat, I can't even look in that direction. <laughs> like, I don't know what you look like. So now for the final step, you're gonna wanna grab your Faded Culture Double Edge Razors, which you can find at FadedCulture.com. Go ahead and put that in your Faded Culture Matte Black Turkish Razor. Again, FadedCulture.com. Now go ahead and apply a little bit of shave gel, preferably Faded Culture shave gel as well. If not, just turn off this video and get moving. Yeah, stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't even care. <laughs> Good. It smells good, see? It's his first time smelling it, stuff smells good. Finishing off the haircut with a little bit of hair enhancements using half dye, half water. And again, all these products are linked in the description down below. Using a little bit of hair clay, you're gonna wanna emulsify it real good in your hands. It's just gonna add a little bit of texture to the length on top, even though it's real short on top, it does bring it out. All right guys, so there y'all have it. We did a high ball fade on my man Angel here. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and I hope y'all took something new from it. As always guys, let us know down in the comments below what y'all would like to see on this channel. Hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. As always guys, my name is Adrian Barone and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.